For example, we had one little girl in the neighborhood that was bitten by a rat. In fact, she came into her mother, and the rat was still hanging on her, her thumb. Fortunately, the mother did kill the rat and had it checked by the health department, and the rat wasn't rabies. But something is going to happen out there to some of the children from these rats. I called Dr. Peters, and I told him, I asked him if there was anything that could be done about these rats, and he told me that they had facilities to take care of dogs and cats, but nothing to do about rats, and that uh, we would have to talk to the city councilman and see if they could help us with funds to get rid of these rats or see about getting a storm sewer in. But that might take a long time before that work is done. And I don't think you can afford to wait that long. I think that's why I asked Mr. Lutzer if there's any money left in that to buy some pipes that maybe to do something. I think the city manager would get on top of it and do something in the next 24, 48 hours on it. All right, Mary Street, if you go out there and you burn that property or try and get rid of those rats, the only place they can possibly go is in our house. And there's going to have to be someone out there to shoot them. Or we'll, we've got them in our houses now. And they'll be all over the place, and we have our small children to consider. My husband has killed six rats out in our backyard. In fact, the other morning he went out to get the morning paper and killed one on the front porch. He had time to go back in the house and get his gun and go back out and shoot the rat. It's, they're that bold. They won't even run. We've already had evidence of some rats in some of the homes out there. In fact, this morning, uh, one woman found evidence of rats in her kitchen when they had evidently so hungry they ate some of the begonia leaves off the plant. And we're worried about when cold weather comes, these rats are going to go right to the houses to get warm. Now, what's going to be done about it? I certainly think these particular magazines in themselves are offensive to a decent person. But what makes it even more treacherous to me is the fact that these are openly displayed on a newsstand 
where any child with a dollar can purchase one of them. I feel certainly that it is my duty as chief prosecutor here in Tulsa County to take the unequivocal stand that we will prosecute any news dealer or distributor who places these things where a child can certainly obtain them. That is a policy that we will adhere to and continue to adhere to. Well, we're at this point. We've, we've cut every place that we feel that we've cut out of the, uh, our city manager has done a wonderful job in, in cutting down on, in places that uh, he felt that we could cut. And we're just now down to rock bottom and we can't go any further and can't conserve on, on any other cuts. Now we're going to have to have some kind of help financially in order to give the services that Oklahoma City people are demanding. Will there be any uh, will there be any concentrated push on the part of the city council for a, a sales tax, for instance? No, I don't think so at all. I, th I think this that uh, as I have suggested this morning that we have a hundred man committee or uh, however many we want to have a large number, and let our citizens decide what our needs are first and how much money we're going to have to have, and then. Uh, let them suggest some way of solving the problem financially. It may be, may be that the Democratic nominee don't mention selected investment because his uh, new look candidate for lieutenant governor, Mr. Nye, voted for select, selected investment. His uh, place breeze candidate for state auditor, Mr. Anderson, voted for selected investment. And his new blood candidate for state treasurer, Mr. Burkhart, who wants to now hunt, handle the money for the state, was in on passing that atrocious piece of legislation when he was a member of the state legislature. So the uh, Democratic